Only the most naive people in the world believe that the cultural war taking place in the United States is between the left and the right. It's not. The left-right paradigm is simply a control mechanism to have people who are left-leaning fight against people who are right-leaning. Meanwhile, the Republican and Democratic establishment and the parties, the Labour Party and the Conservative Party in the UK, in Canada, wherever, all the parties are controlled at the top by those who are rich and powerful sociopaths who only focus on earning as much money as possible, gaining as much power as possible, and becoming one among the elite who work behind the scenes with other extremely wealthy and powerful people to consolidate everything into their hands um, so that they can enjoy uh, complete and utter control over humanity. So it's the people who are pro-establishment versus the people that are anti-establishment. The people that are anti-establishment are the type of people that are familiar with COINTELPRO, that are familiar with the assassination of JFK by the CIA, that understand that 9-11 was an inside job, that understand that we're dealing with the deep state, with the military industrial complex, with what uh, General, General and five-star general and President Dwight Eisenhower warns about in his farewell address. Dwight Eisenhower, was a five-star general. There was only two five-star generals in U.S. history. George Washington and Dwight Eisenhower. So the second five-star general in all of U.S. history warned us about the military-industrial complex, and we did not listen. He warned us about a scientific technological elite, which we're now seeing with the total control over social media, the control over Google, the control over all platforms of communication. Um, it's becoming very Orwellian. Orwell tried to warn us, but to no avail. Uh, many different tr writers tried to warn us, and we failed to listen. We allowed the government to have complete and utter control over society, and it all began when they took over education. We lost. The anti-establishment movement lost as soon as we allowed the government to have the complete control over education. And that's why we don't have any paradigm shifts in, educa in education. There's not a single country on earth with a free market system of education. It's all communist. It's centrally planned education where every student learns the same thing. They're taught by authority figures to listen to what, to, they're told what to think and how to think about issues, told what to study, what to learn, and they are rewarded in direct correlation with how well they can repeat what they're told like parrots, like unthinking zombies. Instead of a system where you have students learn critical thinking skills where they study opposing viewpoints uh, and come to their own conclusions by being able to differentiate between valid and invalid arguments, being able to analyze evidence to see where the ev which um, arguments the evidence uh, supports, um, and learning how to change their con research conclusions through further research and analysis, dialectics, and debates. I mean, there's really two type of types of people in the world. Those with critical thinking skills debate other people in order to learn, not to win. Unless, they, you know, they're participating in a debate tournament, you know, in high school or college or otherwise. But for the most part, people with critical thinking skills engage in debate to see if their current research conclusions are nuanced enough or if they have holes that need to be revised in order to have a properly nuanced and comprehensive uh, understanding of a particular issue. And thus, their worldview is constantly constantly evolving as they engage in further research and analysis, and analysis, and they study important, um, like important and contentious issues like gun control and you know, economics, free market capital, free market capitalism versus socialism, um, as well as uh, you know, the nature of big pharma, the nature of the uh, military industrial complex, the nature of our foreign policy. Um, these are things that you can spend your entire life studying, and what you do spend your entire life studying if you approach politics as a lifelong research project instead of a football game. But 99% of people do not have critical thinking skills, so they don't approach politics as a lifelong research project where they're continuously trying to challenge their own preconceptions and their current uh, paradigms and worldviews. Instead, we have people that approach politics like a football game where they mindlessly cheer for their team, regardless of whether or not they're corrupt and only in it for themselves. If you're a Republican, you root for the Republicans, even though the Republicans in power are screwing you over and only care about themselves and have the same policies as the, the same essential policies as those on the left, especially in terms of the foreign policy uh, tactics that they use 
I mean, the only thing that changes between Republican and Democratic uh, administrations are the talking points. But for the most part, you get pretty much the same policies with slightly different, um, you know, slightly different views on on um, volleyball issues like abortion and gun control. But for the most part, the same uh, the same underlying policies persist economically. Uh, the regulatory agencies continue to be captured. No one's getting the the big big pharma out of the FDA and the CDC. No one's getting Wall Street out of the Securities and Exchange Commission. All our regulatory agencies are captured. No one's doing anything about that. No one's doing anything about our education system, which leaves people completely unable to think for themselves or to use critical thinking skills. The only place right now, the only places right now that students can learn critical thinking skills are in mock trial on debate teams, and if they go to law school, they learn critical thinking skills. But outside of that, all they learn how to do is repeat what they're told by authority figures. And that is the biggest underlying problem in our society, is that our education system makes a bunch of complete and utter morons who cannot think for themselves.